How's it going, Internet Land? This is Zachimus Prime, aka Zachimus Prime, here with another Transformers review. And um, I'm going to be honest with everybody, I enjoyed that uh, War for Cybertron Siege uh, Megatron so much that I went out and I bought myself a Siege Optimus Prime. So now I've got them both. And uh, gosh, this figure is even better than Megatron. Fantastic little figure. He. Um, He's got this backpack, which I don't particularly enjoy. I mean, I understand its design use, like it's an it's an integral part of the of the transformation, and they'd have to change a lot and introduce a lot of awkward kibble in a lot of other places. So I think that it's an okay choice. I just I never particularly cared for it, and I'm not gonna say that this is my favorite part of the figure either. But um. But honestly, that may be the worst part of this figure, which means that this is a pretty damn good figure. So, um, in terms of accessories, he comes with his gun here. And this gun is just a single piece of plastic. No paint outs. No uh, anything special on to it. It's just... Yeah, I think it's just a single piece. I was, I was seeing if this cap was a second piece, but no, I think it's just a single piece of plastic. But I mean, it looks the part. It's uh, fairly basic. It's got a peg hole on top so you can attach other weapons to it or whatnot. Um, of course, Siege, so everything is all about attaching things. He also comes with this axe, which um, is actually a pretty cool looking axe. Um, I, do like, I do like how the like Energon axe from the third episode... Uh, let me mute my phone. Hold on. I do like how the Energon Axe from the third episode of Transformers uh, G1 turned into this like axe wielding maniac in uh, more recent terms, in uh, more recent times. It's uh, kind of an interesting progression. Anyhow, you can take this and you can fold this into itself, like so, and then fold this in half like that. So there's a little tab in a slot right here. And then you can plug it onto his arm. Now, instead of axe, it's a shield. And so, I mean, that's actually pretty cool. I actually like it, or maybe you could hold it here like a buckler of some sort. I think that it looks a lot like, I don't know, I feel that, I feel that if it turned into some sort of a gun, that would be cool. Like if it's attached onto the back, I don't know. But, I mean, it looks like an alright shield. Um, it sticks out pretty far from the side of his arm. So, to me, it looks a little bit awkward as a shield. But, um, it's, not a bad it's not a bad accessory. I think that it works out. Um, getting in on his face sculpt. His face sculpt seems to be um, heavily inspired by the, uh, by the MP10 Optimus Prime. It's a pretty good looking face sculpt. Some blue paint apps on his eyes really make that pop out. I like it. He um he has the uh the battle wear um paint apps on him, which um I understand I'm kind of in the minority here, but I actually really like them. They give the whole thing like a weathered um you know worn look. Uh and you know, this is supposed to be about this war for Cybertron, like these are supposed to be battle worn characters. And, um, I mean, the simple truth is that nobody stays pristine through a battle. But, um, his proportions are really good. You know, you're looking at, you know, the chest versus the legs and the arms and whatnot. Like, it's, it's really less, like he's got this little bit of kibble here, which by the way, I like, I like to imagine that these can be flipped out and be done as some sort of like underslung, you know, gun things or whatnot. But um, aside from this backpack and like a couple little pieces of kibble, like this figure is actually really streamlined and cleans up really well. I am, I'm actually quite impressed with this figure. Um, I've kept my classics Optimus Prime from 2007 around for a long, long time. But, um, he may finally be usurped. 
I just, I really enjoy this figure. Anyhow, let's get to posability. His head is on a ball joint. It rotates freely with no obstructions. Um, his arm will rotate around like this. It is on a, uh, like a universal joint inside here. So it'll go out for a full tree pose. This panel here does move to facilitate that. He has an upper bicep swivel. Oh, well, by the way, he's got, this is a transformation joint, but um, you can get a lot of, a lot of like good, um, you know, like emphasis on the poses and whatnot by moving these shoulders just a little bit, putting his shoulders back. You know, I mean, it just really, I mean, this is a transformation joint, but it's super useful as a posability joint. Anyhow, so I said bicep swivel, elbow bends slightly more than 90 degrees. It's not bad at all. Wrist swivel, which is good because that means that he actually has blue fists, which I think is kind of an important thing for Optimus Prime to have. Waist swivel is un in unhindered whatsoever. Um, his leg will move forward that much. It will move backward that much. He's got a great amount of bend on his knee. Um, unfortunately, due to the due to the uh, limitations of his leg joint, his hip joint, um, he can't like do like a. I don't know. I suppose you can get him into kind of like a one knee pose. Don't expect him to do the superhero landing though because it just, I don't know, maybe it'll look good from a certain angle, but um, I didn't, I forgot to mention that he's got this hidden thigh cut in here. Only moves about that much. In addition to that thigh cut, he does have a knee rotation as well. So like his legs are hella swivelly, which is actually really nice. Um, ankle joint moves this much no forward and backward but he does have um his toes and heels move um independently so you can kind of you know fake it if you put his heels down then it's like he's leaning forward on his ankle joints and if you put his toes down then it's like he's leaning backwards on them and honestly that's better than nothing um, just really quick, I want to do a size comparison with um, Megatron. Oops. Get Lord Shacks out of the way. Move. This set looks, this pair looks really, really good together. Um, I especially like how, like especially you'll see Megatron's arms are bigger, his, he's wider in the chest, his head is bulkier, like overall he just looks bulkier and beefier than Optimus Prime, and uh, it's really, like it really emphasizes the roles they play. Um, it just makes him really look like a big muscly gladiator from the Kaon Pits. But anyhow, let's get into transformation. Transformation on this guy was really cool. I think that's one of the things that I like best about this figure. I got into it and I was like, wow, that's really well done. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take his backpack out and flip that around. We're going to open up his chest. There's a lot of things going on. I've transformed him several times, but it's hard to come up with a real coherent like process for it. I suppose I could always see if I can dig the instructions out and see if they have a more coherent thing. I haven't looked at them, so whatevs. Take these and flip them out and just to get all of this ready, I'm going to move his legs up or his arms up and out of the way. You want to take this joint. There's a joint in here. So you're going to move like half of the waist section out. And you're going to yank on his tires. His tires kind of have to squeeze past this uh, this windshield section here. And there's no real position for this windshield to make it so you don't have to do that. So you just got to 
You just gotta futz with it. They, those will come out and you want to move them down, down, down like this. Again with the other side, pull this wheel out. You want to keep this chest open because that's actually an integral part of the transformation. So, with this in place, then you can take, extend out this, fold out these panels right here, and this becomes the bumper. It clips in there fairly, fairly solidly. And then you want to take this, you want to kind of start to, you kind of move this into position about the same time you move his arms into position. It's this weird, delicate dance. You can make this a little bit easier by moving this up at that joint right there, just to give a little bit more gap in there. So while you're bringing this forward, take his arms and move them back on this hinge and then put his hands into position. Now there is a tab in here on the body and a slot right here. This is not gonna hold it, but it is going to seat it in the proper place. You'll know when you're in that because you'll kind of feel it come in. Oops, got a smokestack stuck underneath that backpack. Not good. Again with the other side, move that kind of into that peg just to kind of get it into position. You want to take this part here and fold it down. Oops, whoops, folding in his bumper. starting to get it like that. You want to take these panels here and fold them up. And they'll fold up onto the sides. Now you can seat this into position. With this in the proper position you can close these tabs onto these slots on his arm. And then you can put there's tabs on those bumpers that go into these slots here. Those go in and then you'll close this up over that other part and then the wheels will fold up like so. I, I don't get my wheels to really, there's like a tab that's supposed to seat on in there and they don't feel like they really want to seat super well. But actually let's not seat them quite yet because there's still another part that goes into there. So for his legs, you want to rotate them at the knee there is this panel right here. Ooh, that pops straight off. That's how it always is when you when you're photo, when you're videoing it. You go through this process several times and like everything's okay. And then like the one time that you're videoing it, everything goes wrong. So you want to fold those up. You want to fold these out part way. You can collapse this foot at, literally at any time. We're going to do it right now. And then you want to take and grab this section here, rotate it out and around, and tab it in on the outside. So out, around, tab it in on the outside. Put his legs together. And then you've got a slot right here. And there's a tab right here that's going to go into that. And then these panels just kind of fold up on the bottom of those tires go into place. And that, as they say, is that. Um, and this is actually a really good truck mode. It's really clean looking. It's uh, nicely squared off. Ah, this, you know, part up at the top, like it seems so G1 to me with a couple of exceptions, like this extra detail here. I don't know if these are supposed to be some sort of like additional lights or whatnot. And then he's got like Gatling guns built into his bumper. But um, yeah, so you can take this. Oh, Let's keep those legs properly pegged together. You can take 
the shield, you can peg it into that peg in the middle or any of these pegs. There's a peg here, 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 here. Even these ones, technically. You can take this and plug it into up here, plug it into on the side here, plug it into the, the back here, wherever you feel like. Unfortunately, none of it really feels streamlined. It like sticks out super obvious. But um, but all in all, I think it's a great looking alt mode. It's a fantastic transformation. Like like this is this is a real solid figure. Um, like, I mean, you know, I mean, the figure is like, pff, Deluxe is or Voyagers now go for like 30 bucks, which seems ridiculous to me, a guy who really, you know, got into Transformers, like understanding price and whatnot back in the 90s. Um, but... Uh, you know, I feel that I feel that Hasbro isn't just it's not just inflation like Hasbro is stepping up their game and this is a higher quality product than what we've gotten in a lot of recent years. So but this is a great figure. I highly recommend it. Um definitely definitely pick up I mean all the siege figures I've reviewed so far have all been really great. Um but this one in terms of just the transformation alone, like really takes the cake. But anyhow, thanks everyone for watching. You guys are awesome, and I will catch you all on the flip side. See you. Have a great day. Bye.